So, what does TSLP and how does it affect and talk to Dermatitis, Dermatitis, Dermatitis. I decided to get no fancy for you. Welcome to my presentation on figure 7 of the paper. The epithelial cell derived atopic dermatitis cytokine TSLP activates neurons to induce itch. I have here a list of which slides I have. The different figures in the main figure posted for going back and checking this. So when is a atopic dermatitis? It's a chronic and inflammatory disorder that affects one in ten people, that's pretty common. Epidermal cells communicate with the sensory neurons via the TSLP. TSLP acts on Transient receptor protein A1 is positive neurons or trip A1 neurons to be short of bandit. Those with severe atopic dermatitis eventually develop asthma and Allergic rhinitis. This process is known as the atopic march. How come they always have pun names for horrible things? So when do you see here? is nuclear localization of keratinocytes when they're treated and incubated with various substances for 30 minutes and the green shown is an F A T and the red is DAPI. This figure shows the NFAT green fluorescent protein localization in the nucleus and translocalization. This figure show the uh, different agents used and the TSLP levels in response. Here we have some mouse skin cells that have been lysed after injection with various substrates. Here, it draws all the other figures together and diagrams the schematic of TSLP signaling in keratinocytes. How this all works is calcium activates Calcium, which in turn activates the 
and the empty we travel into the nucleus and produces TSLP and then it diffuses out the same synapse with a neuron. The neuron contains TSLP receptors and trip A1 channels that travels up to the brain and evokes itch. Here's the paper that the figure is from. Check it out as I'm sure all of you already did. So Thank you for watching my presentation. Are there any questions?